kami sa farm ng kaibigan namin guys sa bee farm nila so ngayon i-tutor niya kami sa kanilang farm ayan sila guys so nakasuit kami nakabisuit that's Brycey and Ina our master and the manager is there Hey guys, make sure that the, this net doesn't touch your chin or nose. Okay. Kind of like keep it off. Okay? Uh -huh. Because it will, they will be watching for the opportunity to see you. Okay? Alright. Okay. Thank you. Okay. That's the money girl! Hi! Hi Vanessa! Look at Vanessa! Look Vanessa! <laughs> Beehives. Look at the beehives. Those are all beehives. And they're trying to split the beehives. Look at that. What we're doing is we put a third box on top. And these frames, this would be a frame, this black part, yeah. that would be brand new. Nothing's been done. And the bees start to build out. They just started to build out the wax cone. Um, there's a little more on this side. And here we have a little bit more built out. Um, oh, I see they build that fast. Okay, so what we got here. Is that the queen dying? Um, is it the queen? What? See these. Uh, is it the queen? Like yellow and orange things uh -huh. in there? Uh huh. That's pollen. Nice. And up here is nectar, which it would be your honey. Right here. Oh yeah. Except this particular one we've just fed Where's the queen? sugar to. Uh -huh. So that That's actually may be a lot of actual sugar, not real honey Somewhere. right here. But we're, we're not collecting honey this time of year. We're just feeding the bees to keep them going. Right. And so... Post? Yes, she posted, but she has to move on the channel. So, these are babies in here down in here. Um, little white things that are curled around. Yeah. Those are babies. Nice. And that's a larva. Here they've already capped the larva. You can't see it. Uh -huh. This guy right here is a queen cell. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. See how it's kind of hanging down the side? Yeah, yeah. And if that were to grow out, this time of year, that grows out and hatches. Then you uh, have another queen. You have another swarm. You may lose all your bees. Oh. So what we're doing is we're because it's, this is swarm season, uh, before they swarm, we're, we're taking, I'll, I'll explain it here in a second, we're taking out these frames, and somewhere here I'll, I'll have a perfect uh, one with a, you know, this is not real clear, um, and so the queen could be up here, but we want to keep the queen in the bottom, and we're going to introduce new queen cells in the top and so what I'm doing is the queen cut this is a feeder we put sugar water in if, uh -huh. if there's no flowers uh, oh I see and you can see they can they can crawl down in here we get the sugar water yeah this is actually just a tube that's kind of like a it's empty it's, it's kind of it's got little openings down in there uh-huh you can pull this out and you can pull this out and clean it but since the queen could be here it's rare, but once in a while this happens, we go ahead and bang that out. Then it could, the queen could be on the side of this box. So we shake all those off. And so this, up, I'll set it up here. That's the monitor. So, <laughs> what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to pull five frames is overkill. You can do it with two mm -hmm. or three. So we're going to pull five frames of with babies on them, which we call brood, up, and we're going to put in that box. And then we're going to take this thing here. And we're going to 
to put it over here, and then we're going to put that box back on top. Ah, and so what will happen is the queen will be forced to stay down here, and the, uh, okay, most of the bees here are girls, but only one of them is a queen. Once in a while there's two. But, um, the workers have different jobs depending how old they are. And see, this is a really nice frame of honey. Nice. And so, there's a little bit of pollen down here. And you can see right there. Yeah, oh my God, look at the honey. Yay! Yes. So anyways, that, that's a good one to put on the outside right there. Yeah. Uh, this one is pollen, really. Wow. You see all the pollen? Yeah. You That's see the difference? There's yeah. honey out here and there's yeah, pollen, pollen in here. In here. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure I need that much pollen right now, so I'll figure out what else I got here first. Uh, this one is just kind of up and down. It's not flat. Look at Vanessa's suit. It's cute. Vanessa. Bait niyan si Vanessa. Oops. Which is enough to make a good solid split. But uh, why not make a really good split and cut these guys back a little harder? So don't swarm. And I have me too. What's going on? She's the manager. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> so. Bearding out. I want to show you those eggs. This thing is really hard to see. Without glasses. Shall I space it for you? Or you want it all them close together? So we kind of suck all the brood out of the top, which is pretty severe. Look at that. Right. Do you have a palette? Where do you set them? Oh, you're gonna take them off next day. Okay, okay it's good. Yeah. Never mind. Press it. Oh, come here, precious, and and smoke. Smoke the pepper right here. Some of these, some of these are from the top. This one wasn't the strongest okay. in the world. So, if she comes up, if the queen comes up, yes, if the queen comes up and lays eggs, it's only one thing. Guys, they have a huge uh, bee farm, so they have some uh, beehives right there, and at the barn right there, it's full of uh, beehives. And the nurse bees are the ones who will come up. And keep those larvae warm and feed them. When the bee is really old, it's the, it's the bee that flies out and actually collects honey out from the flowers. Yeah. So like this, this one over here, we've maybe had on 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, and see, it's full of bees. They've moved up, and it'll be even more. And then we'll come along at night. And we'll pull this whole box off, put it on a pallet, and we'll give it a clean cell and wow. start a new hive. But we're vacuuming up all the bees that are attracted to that, the babies. Uh -huh. So we're vacuuming them up into this box. Right. And kind of thinning out the hive down below. I don't know if that makes any sense or not. It does. No, I, I understand. Um, right up here, it's used a little bit. And Look, man, yes, I didn't have a clean cell available at the time. So what I did is I did this with just like you saw. Mm -hmm. And then I took both out of the bees from this one. Bryce, how they can go inside the bee? What? How they go inside? Let's see. Can you go through? See those little openings? Where? Those little openings there? Oh, the bottom. Oh, and here? Yes. Is this all home? See? Is this the right thing? Clean the, the eggs on this one. <laughs> see in here, there's little pieces that look like rice on the bottom? Yeah. Is that That's eggs? those eggs. And then down in this corner, you have what they call larva. It's a little more white. It's 
And then after they grow a little more, they cap the brood. You can see they're starting to be capped there, and they can breathe through that covering. Um, and they'll stay in there until they hatch. And so the cell's been packed with food, and, uh, and they're just kind of hanging out in there. They're on the back of the truck, right here. And this one you can see has got a little bit of everything. What's it's, this one? That's a male. Ah. Uh, see how it's, oh, he's wider? Look yeah. at the male uh, bee. This guy right here, he's yeah. a lot wider and bigger. Yeah. All they do is mate with the queen. And then they so die. the queen must be nearby, huh? Uh, not necessarily. Oh, okay. Uh, there's only one in here. So... This time of year, there may be two queens, actually, but maybe 20% of the hives right now maybe have two queens. But generally speaking, there's one queen and about... Yeah. This is tiny. And a little bit of larva. We've got three, we got three wow. frames of brood we pulled out of the top, which is enough to make a new hive. But I want to thin this thing down. I want to slow down the bottom one because I don't want it to swarm. And I want to make a really strong top, so I'm going to go ahead and pull a couple out of the bottom, but we still don't know if the queen is here, so we're going to shake all the bees down, and we don't know if the queen is hanging out on this feeder. Uh, drone comb, I don't know, they always do it on the bottom. You can clean it up, yeah. I just scrape the bottom and then the side. You don't have to get it all off, it's okay. But I'm going to, don't do it there, I'm going to put the box there in a second. Okay. We don't know if the queen, she could be hanging out on that box. So we tap that queen. You got the smoker, Bryce? Look at that. I got it. Look at that. Is that, that. This is the male. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the male bee. They don't have stingers. You can have a whole bee. Yeah, the male bee hive. Have a stinger. And you didn't yeah, have. Just pump smoke here. See, the, you could have a whole beehive with those kind of bees, mm -hmm. and you didn't, don't have to wear a bee suit. Yeah. Yeah. See, and here you can see, stingers. these are male, male bees. They tend to be the larvae in between. You can see they're not quite developed, but that's a baby bee right there. Wow. Yeah, it's live. And a little bit older, they start to have these purple eyes. Uh, which I'm not seeing. This one has purple eye right here. See that the eyes are beginning to get developed in yeah. this one. Yeah. Look at that, Bryce. Yeah. You can see that they're, they're getting quite developed already. See that the legs are already beginning to form. They got six legs. Yeah. Yeah, that's looking B shaped. Yeah. So what we'll do here is we'll pull out. Bryce. Yeah. Bryce. What's that? Oh, that's just the way that somebody fixed the frame. Okay, this one has been fallen. Oh yeah, plenty. You can see the different colors. Yeah. From the different plants they've collected from. Mm. And then out here we got a little bit of honey. So it's you can see honey. if I open it there. Ooh. Nice. That's yeah. their food reserves, huh? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so this one's probably not a bad one to put in. You know, the, the, the pollen is their protein. <laughs> That's funny. Some more males. Males are the ones that sticks out taller. It's wider. Okay. Don't have stingers. Look at that behind. See, it has even more. Yeah. Look at that behind here and turn those ones apart. Right. Um, but you know, by looking at the uh, cones. The honeycombs, which ones to put in, right? Yeah, pack in empty frames and make a hive out of that. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna make a little bit. You want to thin them out more because they're pretty thick. The yeah, I want to thin them out more and I want strong, strong splits. So all the nurse bees are gonna get vacuumed up and keep this stuff warm. They're gonna keep it at 92 degrees. Ah. No matter how cold it is, this will be 92 degrees. Wow. 
and uh, they incubate the eggs. Yeah. Now, if there's no eggs, they may drop down to 70 to 70 degrees, that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. They can't. But if there's babies in there, they can't, they try to keep that hive warm. So in the winter, when you put them in a barn like that, if you fill that barn you don't do that with beehives, yeah. you have to run a cooling system to keep it cool wow. in the dead of winter. Wow. Well, that sounds great. Here you can really see the larvas. Yeah. Irene, if you look right in here, you can see the larvas. Yeah. Like oh, sorry. Yeah, it's like yeah that's the queen. He's also bigger. So guys, tapos na kami magano, madun sa beehives nila. And there is another type. And, uh, Are we gonna cut this in pieces or, mom? Huh? Is there enough for everybody? Wait, we 